Hello, and welcome to another Visionaire tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create an inventory interface and tie it to the player character. In order to complete this tutorial, you will need an existing scene populated with a player character and an image to act as the background for an inventory. With that in mind, let's get started. Now, I already have my uh, game opened up. Let's go right to the inventory interfaces or the interfaces section, which is the gamepad to create the inventory. Now, let's hit the plus sign and we'll just rename that. I'm just going to call it inventory. You can call it anything you really want. Now, when you first create an interface, there is nothing in the way of images, buttons, anything there. So let's go right to the Properties tab to add a background image. There's an option for background image. We'll click the, the double dots or triple dots and choose the inventory image that I already have set made for this game. If we go back to buttons, we can actually preview now what the interface will look like. And I'm doing a detective game right now that's a murder mystery. And he's got a manila folder for his inventory to contain all the evidence that he will be collecting. So as you can see, it is an inventory uh, image that would best serve coming from the bottom of the screen rather than top side or, or otherwise. So let's go to properties again and just look through what different uh, settings and properties we need to change to make this happen. Now first of all under classes it says main interface but there's also an option for inventory. Let's set that to inventory and then continue looking down through. Show interface permanently and if you hover over that it tells you that it will uh, remain uh, shown even through cut scenes. So I don't want that so I'll skip that option. Standard command, I don't have any standard commands and the show action text. I'm not ready to set that up yet. But displacement looks good. It has options for the placement of the interface. Right now, it's got top, bottom, left, right, absolute, and cursor, current cursor position. Well, bottom seems to be the most logical choice right now, so we'll go with that. And now let's tie that interface to the player character. Go to your characters and I'll select my player character which is the detective and then we'll go to the interfaces tab. As you can see I already have the mouse interface connected to the player character so let's just toggle on the inventory interface as well and see what happens. Let's just run this and see what happens. Well there we go. We have our inventory interface. Now my inventory interface does not span the full width of my game. So what I'd like to do is have this centered. So let's go back and see what options we have available for that. Back to interfaces, inventory, properties. And back to displacement. Let's take a closer look. Now I would assume that top and bottom would be for images that span the full width of your game. Left and right would be logical that they span the full height of your game and that they come from those sides. Now absolute sounds like something that we want. Once we choose absolute, offset became enabled so we can actually choose exactly the position of where we want this interface to show up in the game. Now if we go back to our game settings we can see what the resolution is for this game in my case it's 1280 by 720 and I know that my image 
for my inventory is 898 wide and 80 high. So if I take 1280, subtract 898, and divide by 2 so that it's centered, I'll get 191 pixels on either side of the inventory in order for it to look centered. For it to the inventory to be pushed all the way to the bottom, but still have space for the image, I need to take the height of the resolution of my game, which is 720, and subtract 80, which is the height of my inventory image. That takes me to 640. Okay, so let's try that, see what happens. Save and run. So we see now that the inventory is perfectly centered and it's in the exact spot that I want. And that concludes this tutorial. In the next video, we will see how to add item slots to this inventory interface. I hope to see you then.